going on you beautiful people today we're going to be playing with the scar h and battlefield 4 yeah so i'm putting it out there that this is going to be the best weapon that you'll use on the medic glass on assault so we've got the coyote uh, rds we've got the laser and light combo so that's a pretty good combo it's not too bad we've got the r2 suppressor on it which isn't too bad either we've got not well we've got the vertical grip that's all right you can change your grips you can customize this weapon to the way you like it but that's just how i like it so going through this gameplay i did record this once before but it didn't really work properly the footage just went all jittery and just went to haywire and i didn't think i was going to be able to replicate the gameplay that i'm showing you right now because obviously some of the guns that you use and some of the games that you get you can't really replicate what you've done before because it's just going to be too many variables and i thought it, it maybe it was just a one-off but it's not just a one-off this thing does insane amount of damage even with a silencer on it, as you can see, I was using this originally without a silencer. And it was doing quite well with it, without it. So I thought, you know what, I'll chuck a silencer on it because it'd be hard to detect me. And hopefully it does a good amount of damage, which it still does. This gun is just insane. Now, I'm putting it out there that this is the best assault rifle in Battlefield 4 right now. It's because nothing really seems to impede on its damage i mean you've got the aek 971 yes that's a really great fast firing weapon but there's a lot of other weapons out there as well but the scar h is a slow firing weapon obviously but it's a high caliber 5.56 nato now you can use other weapons like i've said but this just seems to work really well it only takes like five or six bullets to kill someone sometimes it really depends on how you're performing the distance and what the other person may be using if they get you first but like i said this thing just kills even in metro it was doing insanely well which is quite rare for a slow firing weapon especially the scar h i mean when's the last time you've gone on to like a map of metro or a similar sized map on call of duty and you've done that well with the scar h that you go hey you know what i'm gonna keep using this weapon and I'm going to do great with it. No, it's all about fast firing and it's fast paced gameplay on there. Where this is a little bit slower and you have a little bit more time to think about what you're doing. Now, as you can see, I am using the grenade launcher as well, which wasn't too bad. It sort of just broke up my gameplay a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to be all about the Scar H most of the time, but a majority of it is. So, the reason I chose the Scar H is that... I, I just like the weapon, I like the design of it, I just like the look of it, I like the firing rate of it, I like the way it handles, yes it does have a little bit of recoil at distance, that's why you control your firing by yourself. Now you can put a different scope on it, you can probably put an ACOG on it and see how it goes, I haven't done that just yet, I was going to do it, but I couldn't get back into this server for some reason, Battlefield was just having a hissy fit. But this weapon just seems to perform really well and it's at the top of its game now where you would use like the M416 or something similar it would probably do as good it's a faster firing weapon but it doesn't have the performance and the punch that the Scar H does I feel. Now I'm saying this is the best weapon the best assault rifle used for the medic class the assault class I just walked past that guy you see that like I'm pretty sure I walked past an enemy while I was using that explosive shotgun but besides the point if you're going to use the scar h make sure it's set up yourself or you can use the one that i'm showing you right now with the attachments and everything but obviously having it changed up and seeing how you can customize it to yourself you can probably put down in the comments the variation that you're using so people can try that and see how it works for them because obviously we're all different but using the same sort of gun setup is always going to be a, a bit of a you know, dilemma. But we're always going to be able to adjust and find things that work really well for us. But that's, yeah, this, I can't believe how good this weapon actually did. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys use most of the time, if, whether it be Battlefield 4, Battlefield 5, Call of Duty, you know, let me know what variations of the weapon that you use because I know everyone's different, no one's ever the same, we're always going to have something different and someone's not really going to agree with what you do, but at the end of the day, it's what you're doing that matters, not really what someone else wants you to do. So, that's been Baron, how's a gamer? Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Uh, don't forget to check out the Discord service members on the channel. Um, I hope you enjoy, thank you so much for watching, peace.